Let's take a look at how to add in cluster shared volumes and what that means. So when I added in basic storage, as I did in the previous video in this playlist, so check it out if you haven't seen it, we can see that the drives here, a 12 gigabyte and a one gigabyte drive are mounted on file server two. So that means basic storage is going to show up if I go to file explorer and there they are, my 12 gigabyte and my one gigabyte on file server two. So they're only gonna be mounted on one of the cluster nodes at a time. So for instance, if I go back to file server one and here we are in file server one, we don't see those two drives. If I go into computer management, we can see that the drives are there but they're just in reserved mode. So here we are, we see reserved and reserved. So that means that they're reserved, but they're reserved by the other server. So cluster shared volumes are different. Uh, what they do is they show up in a completely different folder and they show up on both servers at the same time or all the nodes at the same time. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go into failover cluster manager and I'm going to convert my 12 gigabyte into a cluster shared volume. So I'll right click, I'll choose add to cluster shared volume. That's all you gotta do. And it'll convert it and now it's done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into File Explorer and you're gonna see this storage is now mounted on the C drive in a new folder and it's called cluster storage. So if I double click on that, there it is. There's my volume, you see it's 12 gigabytes. Double click on it and there's nothing in it as of yet. However, now I'm gonna switch over to the other server and we should see it in that exact same place as well. I'm on file server two again. We still see the H drive because I did not convert that one to be a cluster shared volume, but the G drive is now gone. So I'll open up my C drive, look at that. There's the cluster storage folder, just like it is on the other server. And once again, there's my 12 gigabyte volume. So just for fun, I'll just right click and create a new text document and we'll switch back to the other server and we should see it in the same place. And we're back on file server one and look at that. There's the new text document. So it shows up in both servers at the same time. So that's the difference between a cluster shared volume and just available storage, as you see here. For available storage, it shows up on one node at a time and cluster volume, it shows up on all the different nodes at the same time. So that's how you add cluster shared volumes in a Windows 2019 server. And it also works in older versions as well. Take a look at this playlist for other videos about Windows clustering that could help you out.